Hey guys, so I was running into an air with Rise Son of Rome. Basically, all of the uh, cutscenes would keep freezing and everything, and I figured out how to fix that. Uh, so, this is for a Steam game, so first you're going to want to open up Steam. Um, and go to your Steam library. You'll right click on the game that is having the issues. Go to properties. Uh, then go to local files. Uh, and then you want to verify the integrity of the game cache. And we'll go through this thing. So basically what was happening is I'd be playing Rise Son of Rome. I'd be going through a cutscene. And the cutscene would freeze. And I would have to exit out of it. And then uh, restart it again. And usually what would happen is when I restarted the game, it would just start at the end of the cutscene until one time. It kept starting at the beginning of the cutscene instead of going to the end of it, so basically it was just stuck. So what I did is I went and I ver validated the files, and I got to the end of it, and it was like, rah, one of the files was missing. Uh, so then what it did is it downloaded 1.4 gigabytes of data, which I'm guessing was probably all the cutscenes again. Uh, and I restarted it, and it started working. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead here to when it's done validating, but uh, this time it'll validate properly because I already went through and validated everything and downloaded everything. And, you know, I should really remember to record these things while they're still not working. But anyways. Okay, so we're coming up on the end here. Uh, basically, mine's going to say all files are verified or validated, something like that, but... Uh, if this is a fix that you, oh, yep, see, all files were successfully validated. Um, but basically, if this is the one that you guys need, uh, it'll say one or more files or something like that is missing, and it'll start automatically downloading. So if you want, you can go ahead and uh, pause this video. It should be pretty easy from here. It'll just automatically download everything and uh, should work all right. I had to restart my computer, and I'll show you what it was doing. But, uh, basically, no big deal. Uh, but if it is another error, all the files will validate. And for games like Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, games like that, sometimes they just freeze and they're just, you know, broken games. But, you know. Okay, so after uh, my file finished downloading, I started it up and it was being all weird and blinking and all this other weird stuff so basically like i said before all i did was restart my computer and it fixed that and it was running perfectly fine okay so uh once you've gotten your computer restarted you can go ahead and try playing it uh as you can see i've definitely played more than 70 minutes of this game it's just a lot of it has been offline so it didn't particularly save that but anyways, yeah, if you need to restart your computer, go ahead and start the game now. Uh, I went ahead and run it, ran it on high graphics, but uh, so you might notice something kind of weird. It's going to be probably a little choppy in the cutscene because uh, my computer likes to be nice to me and mean to you. So basically it's running at a nice 60 frames per second for me. But then when the cutscene gets started and gets graphically intensive, it puts more power into running the game than to the screen recorder. And, well, it gets a little choppy for you, but trust me, it looks pretty. Um, so, basically, we ran. I mean, just go ahead and run through this entire cutscene just to make sure everything works and to show you guys it works. Uh, so I'll just talk about a couple more things and... Uh, finish this video up. So basically, uh, this may not be necessarily be what's wrong with your game. It could also be uh, um, hardware. Like if your graphics card isn't powerful enough, it might not be able to run it, so it might be freezing at that point. Uh, a lot of times you can just skip it, but the, again, this one, was, I wasn't able to skip it. Um, so you may need to upgrade, but Again, this is much cheaper than upgrading, especially if the reason it's not working is because a file is missing, of all things. But, uh, again, 
basically I hope this video helped you guys out. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let this cutscene play so you guys can see that it works all the way up to the checkpoint afterwards. And then uh, if you guys liked it, go ahead and give it a like. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down and maybe let me know why. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.